we were chatting before the show and you had mentioned how you also learned how to ride a bike for the first time while you were at 79 degrees north in the Arctic at the age of 32. And I, I wonder if you can share that story for our audience because I find it so cool and fun. I'm the Mediterranean that likes to go to the, to the, to the ice without knowing how to swim or how to ride a bike or even drive. So I don't have, I would say, a lot of the skills people would agree are necessary to do field work. And I would agree with them as well. But I'm, I'm too curious to not go. But I also never thought, okay, driving the car, maybe because of the snowmobiles, that's fine. But there's always someone driving and you can always go on the back of someone. But then I would never think I actually needed to know how to ride a bike. Of all the skills I just presented to you that I don't know what to do, I never thought riding a bike would be the first one I had to learn to doing field work. So I went to Svalbard last summer and I had everything prepared. It was actually the first field work excursion that I had to do a lot of the logistics myself. I had support from my collaborators, of course, but it was the first time I was the PI of a project. So I was quite stressed with it. And I was like, where's the glacier? Let's go. I'm so excited to see the glacier. And they were like, yeah, sure. So this one, we need to go by bike because there's no more ice. So there's no snowmobiles. And I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> I don't know how to ride a bike. And everybody was so surprised that I didn't know how to ride a bike. I guess that's fair. I said I'm not above having to learn how to ride a bike at 79 degrees north today to make sure that in a couple of days we can reach this glacier. So let's go. Where's the bike? And then I see these very big bikes. <laughs> They're not tailored for my size at all. And I was terrified. Fortunately, we were in front of the Dutch station. And as everybody knows, the Dutch are world leaders in bike riding. It's like a, a Dutch baby is born already biking in a way. And they had all these Dutch bikes that are kind of more adjustable and easier to learn. But then this Dutch person is inside looking through the window, this Dutch ginormous man looking through the window, seeing me becoming frustrated, frustrated at me at, at every minute passing. And then he just opens the door comes outside and say, get on the bike. Because at this point, my colleagues that were teaching me, they were incredibly soft and supportive and you know, not pushing me too much, but he was not having it. He was watching me for two hours and he's like, this is not how you do it. I went on the bike, terrified, and he just started pushing me with all his strength. And five minutes later, I looked back and he's no longer there and I'm riding the bike. Uh, so it was such a fantastic moment. But yeah, so it was an amazing experience. And um, someone told me you might have a, a, Gu a Guinness record because I don't think anybody had learned how to ride a bike that far north. Perhaps I do. <laughs>